to talk about the kinematic equations first of all you need we need to know that the acceleration is equal constant all right it's a constant doesn't change all right so how can we get from the acceleration to the velocity the velocity is equal to the integral of the acceleration with respect to time dt all right so let's create this the integral is constant, which means I can get it out of the integral when end up with something like that a t but you have to need to add a constant this is what we call the integration constant this integration constant is equal to initial velocity v i right? So now how can we get to the displacement, All right? So x is equal, again, to the integral of velocity this time with respect to time, All right? So let's create this. Velocity this time is equal to this. It's different from the acceleration. It's not constant. Acceleration is uh, velocity is equal to a t plus v i right so let's substitute this into this equation so it becomes a t plus v i with respect to time let's create this so a t d t plus v i d t all right the acceleration is constant now, we can get it out of the integral, we can end up with t dt plus, sorry I have to add an integral right here, vi is constant, always out of the, so we're going to end up with dt, right, so this is equal to t square over 2 plus vi t plus another constant. Right, the constant this time will be the initial position x zero, which means the the last kinematic equation will be something like that one over two a t square plus v i t plus x zero. All right, this is the initial position. All right, so this is a very powerful way. To not, not memorize, but to understand where the kinematic equation came from, only by knowing that the acceleration is constant. Thank you.